Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS D5105D model. The exact model is pretty long, it's at D5105DA-BQ1343W. That information can be found on the bottom sticker of the laptop on the bottom cover. In this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage in here and what are the combination that you can have. And sometimes when you purchase this one, depending where location and where you're purchasing it, in the box they give you a metal caddy with a hard drive cable and stuff like that. I will show you where that goes, but I don't have it in this case, but I will show you where it goes. And, but this one, they do come with a 256 gig solid state NVMe. You can upgrade that one to a two terabyte with no problem. They tell you it's a one terabyte maximum. That's not true. You can put a two terabyte with no problem. We have upgraded to, for our clients. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to remove it and how to place a new one in. And let's get it started. Just remember, once you remove the main storage in here, you're not gonna have any operating system. So there's no OS, anything in here. You have to install Windows freshly installed, but so back up your files. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you want to uh, create yours. And another video how to install it properly on Asus laptop. With all this said, let's get it started. First thing first, power off the laptop, back up your files, flip it upside down, and you want to have the front end of the laptop facing you. You want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now, on down here, there's a three types of screws. The short ones, the medium, and the long ones. The short ones are the front end of the laptop. The mediums are from the side mid to the side the other side here. There are three of them. And the long ones are the three at the back row. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a separate piles and do not mismatch them. Because if you put a long screw where the short goes, it's just gonna damage the palm rest and you're gonna see a nice nipple on the other side. All right. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. Once we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab our opening tool and we're gonna grab the laptop from the front corner, front like this. Now we're going to stick the guitar pick, the opening tool, in between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And we just want to twist it like that, hard. And you want to hear those quick sounds. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself around. You're not damaging or anything or scratching. You pretty much snapping those clips and opening it up. So you want to do that. Go by the grill, where the grill is, and open it up like that. And do the left and the right. And you can do the back end and it should come out pretty easy. Run it around and there we have it. Now you can just grab the bottom cover, wiggle around and it should come out pretty easy. And there we have it. All right, so down here we can see that the space, the caddy that they give you with the screws and stuff, it goes in here so you can grab yourself a mechanical drive, the adapter that they give with a tiny cable goes in here. It should be an adapter, something like adapter like this. So you want to grab your adapter, the one on the tape. So there we go. And you want to put your adapter on the hard drive. This can be another solid state drive. Doesn't have to be necessarily a mechanical drive. It can be any solid state drive. It works the same way. So solid state drive has the same interface. Okay. So you want to put the adapter that it comes in the box in here and put the caddy over and the caddy sits right there in here with an adapter. Obviously this adapter is not for this case, it stays a little off. And you want to bring the adapter with the blue side and you want to grab this connector here with a plastic. You want to lift it up 90 degree, just like that. And then 
let's say your adapter is pretty much a longer cable than mine. Your adapter has to go inside this connector straight in. This one is not for this one, this is really tech. Once it's inside, you wanna just lock it down and then it will stay there. And just put the hard drive in here. So you can have one storage in here. And the second storage is the NVMe, which is right in here. These are 256 gig, Western Digital. Let's put a tape in here, remove this tape. It was over with uh, once after one year, it starts heating up. This tape is just gonna get sucked down into the fan and it's gonna make a bad noise. So just remove the tape. All right. To remove this NVMe here, it's kind of loose. You want to remove one screw at the back. Again, you don't need to remove the battery to do this. Remove the screw. And you can see the NVMe comes in 45. You just want to pull it back in 45 degree angle. I recommend you guys to grab a good brand NVMe drive, like a 980 Pro from Samsung, up to two terabyte. This is a one terabyte. It comes the same format. You want to make sure the notch in here matches the notch right on the dim right there you want to bring it down in 45 all the way inside the jack and then push it down towards the case and put the screw make sure the screw hole matches nicely it's nicely flat and put the screw right on top and that's it you do not need to disconnect the battery at all to do this process once you have your upgrade in here you can have a two terabyte in here a two terabyte in there it will work fine if you want to put a mechanical drive, make sure it's a low profile. I'll leave a link for a low profile mechanical drive in the video description. But any SSD, it's a low profile. All right, once you're done with this one, you just want to put the cover back on, push the sides, make sure it nice snap back in. The back end, nice big click sounds. In the mid, there's some triggers in there. Once you have it in there, all you want to do, you want to put the short screws on the front end of the laptop, the mids in the middle the, sh the medium and the longer screws all the way to the back row again i hope you guys like this video and i helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up these bottom screws and that should power up this video